This is Nia Filer and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 16th or the 17th of January 2021 to the 24th of January 2021. This is a very combustive week in the sky and you know here I talk about the celestial influence that infects us all, all zodiac signs. Just want to mention that there's two more days that there's 50% off on all my readings and courses. So if you want to schedule something, um, reach out to me on WhatsApp, phone or email um, or social media and schedule something for yourself or a friend. These prices would not come back. They are being raised next week. So what kind of a celestial soup are we swimming in? Well, it's an explosive one. We're having Uranus and Mars conjunct this week. And, and Mars is all about male energy and entrepreneurship and individual action. And everything male that is connected with aggression as well. And the immediate need to, you know, that I cannot satisfy my, uh, uh, I need immediate satisfaction for my needs. There's a sense of necessity and Uranus heightens that as it calls for an upgrade, a change, as it rebels, as it asks us to walk forward and liberate and emancipate society, when these two are combined, our fuse is very short and we are in dire danger of throwing babies with bathwaters from our lives because we want to get ahead so fast. So my, and, and, and this is all heightened and expanded by Jupiter squaring it all. Jupiter expands everything it touches and a square is a conflictual uh, angle. So a very combustive wick. And by the way, you know, the U.S. needs an astrologer. The inauguration of Biden was set to the exact day of this conjunction, squaring the natal nodes of the United States. So, you know, there couldn't be a worse date in, in, in the sense of tension than the one picked. Um, and we're just going to have to see how that plays out. Hopefully with no casualties. Um, furthermore, in our personal lives, my advice to you is leave as much of your schedule open. You know, don't overcrowd it. Don't make it too hectic. Don't put too much upon your shoulders because tension will be high. Stress could rise to new heights. We need to watch our bodies. We need to watch how much water we drink and our blood pressure and our anger issues and, and watch ourselves when we're doing exercise, on the road, cutting salad, whatever we do. This is a time to be more reserved and careful. This is a time to step away from our emotions and look at things more objectively and actually gain more wider understandings. That's the promise of Jupiter from this conflict. So, Saturday the 16th has a beautiful energy in the sky. It's a great day to be with friends and enjoy communal activity, if you can. We are under lockdown, so we can't. Um, Sunday the 17th is the beginning. I mean, we're feeling it from last week, but this is the exact square between Jupiter and Uranus in the sky. And it puts us in the most intense part of this week from Sunday onwards and it finishes only at the end of the week so from this day onwards we're really in the midst of it Monday the 18th is kind of calm and nice and flowing even though we are in a rapid part of the river and then Tuesday the 19th the Sun ingresses into the sign of Aquarius happy birthday all you Aquarian people out there and that's already not such a comfortable day, especially in a sense of relationships. And then, on the 20th, it becomes even more intense with the exact conjunction between Mars in Taurus and uh, Uranus in Taurus. And the Moon is going to square uh, Pluto that day just to add a bit to the intensity. So really, Wednesday and all the days hugging it are really days to pay more attention to our calm, to our composure, to um, actually enhancing tranquility in our lives. These are 
great days nevertheless for walking forward for upgrading for innovation and in the broader sense of things we could see technological medical aeronautical space physical and or esoteric breakthroughs that actually change the reality we live in but we can see also disasters that have come upon because of an exaggeration because of a lack of um, you know uh, composure and and limits in this in the um, medical technological aeronautic god forbid atomic or space technology arenas excuse me um so wednesday and thursday especially don't be obsessive this these are turbulent dramatic days and it's all about stepping away from your emotion as i said as the moon joins this conjunction between mars and uranus on thursday and squares saturn this is already a time to understand that we're going through it most of it is behind us most of the shit because excuse me pardon my french of 2020 is behind us and here we are coming to february which is the time that things are going to become lighter in a sense this is not the time to let our strings pop this is not the time to lose it i know everybody's up to here with this COVID-19 2020 kind of year you know we're just ready to burst but this would be not a good time to do it it's a very combustive time it's very easy to destroy things we have worked upon also in your personal lives be careful don't you know um, rebel just because you can't handle it anymore keep yourself safe safe uh, Friday the 22nd is already an exhale of uh, a relief it has a much nicer energy in the sky and so does Saturday the 23rd even though Mars is squaring uh, Jupiter on that day um, but Venus is also sex selling Neptune so it's a great day for art inspiration creativity spirituality being in nature being with friends or romance romance love is in the air you know i think this spring everybody's going to be in heat after this year so <laughs> yeah we could feel it from saturday onwards and i mean yeah do make sure that you're positive and healthy for yourselves on the long run and sunday the 24th could be heavy as the sun is conjunct Saturn don't be a tight ass don't be too judgmental over yourselves or others know how to slide through it and understand that this is dissipating and you're moving through it like a champ so hopefully we will all make the light stronger and live long and prosper this is Nia Filer a rod filer saying goodbye and thank you for watching, commenting, and sending these videos to your friends. Bye-bye.